Hi and welcome to a lecture on men's sexual dysfunction. In this lecture, we shall get to discuss erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, delayed ejaculation and low sexual desire. Erectile dysfunction is the inability to obtain or maintain an erection that is sufficiently firm for satisfactory sexual activity either on all or almost all occasions. It should be noted here that addressing sexual function is an integral part of general medical assessment not only in men with chronic illness but in apparently well men as impairment can signal serious disease. There is a strong multidimensional relationship between erectile dysfunction, coronary artery disease and depression such that the presence of one of the triad necessitates inquiry about the other two. Premature ejaculation is a condition in which the man ejaculates earlier than he or his partner would like him to. Premature ejaculation is also known as rapid ejaculation, rapid climax, premature climax or early ejaculation. Premature ejaculation may be acquired or lifelong. Pharmacologic choices in the management of erectile dysfunction the phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors. Given their safety, efficacy and oral administration, sildenafil, tadalafil and vardenafil are the drugs of first choice for erectile dysfunction including antidepressant induced erectile dysfunction. It is important to note here that the phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors can only enhance an erection that is partially developing as a result of effective sexual stimulation and mental sexual arousal or reflex erection in men with spinal cord injury. The prostaglandin E1 analogs Alprostadol intracavernosal injection If sufficient corporal erectile tissue is still present Injected alprostadol will cause erections even in the absence of mental sexual arousal. It is important to note here that because alprostadol directly stimulates nociceptors, the technique, dose and dilution are critical for efficacy, safety and comfort of erection. Alprostadol by urethral installation Instilling alprostadol in the form of a pellet into the urethra allows the drug to enter the corpus pongiosum. It is important to note here that retrograde venous passage from the spongiosum to cavernosa is unpredictable and depends on the individual's venous anatomy. Therefore, a trial of intraurethral alprostadol pellets is necessary to determine efficacy in a particular patient. Pharmacologic choices in the management of premature ejaculation. Clinically significant delay in ejaculation may be achieved with the regular daily dosing of either citalopram, clomipramin, paroxetine, or sertraline, or on demand therapy with clomipramin, paroxetine, or sertraline three to six hours before sexual activity. Depoxetin, a short-acting selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, has been approved for the treatment of premature ejaculation. Depoxetin is rapidly absorbed and eliminated after oral administration. Early clinical trials have found depoxetin to be well tolerated and safe and more suitable for on-demand use. 